The history of theater from the 18th century forward is one of an increasing commercialization of the art, accompanied by technological innovations, an expansion of subject matters portrayed to include ordinary people, and an emphasis on more natural forms in acting. Theater, which had been dominated by the church for centuries, then by the taste of monarchs for another 200 years, became the province of merchants, industrialists, and ultimately all segments of society. In the 18th and 19th centuries, theater embraced the romantic movement and melodrama, while staging techniques became more and more realistic in large part due to rapid advances in stage technology. When we think about the modern theater, we inevitably think about realism and naturalism in playwriting. Realism as an artistic movement developed historically in tandem with the rise of modern science, with its emphasis on observation, accurate recording, and theorizing about natural phenomena. In applying this method to the study of society, writers started to exhibit a social conscience, seeing the evils of society and calling for reform. Realism was the attempt to recreate life as it is in the context of an artistic medium. The artist's function is to report and record what he sees as accurately and honestly as possible. Realism began as a revolt against the conventions of the classic view of art, which suggested that life was more rational and orderly than it really is, and a revolt against the romantic traditions in art, which suggested that life was more emotionally satisfying than it really is. Realism attempted to portray life as objectively as possible. In playwriting, Henrik Ibsen was the first to realize fully the goals set forth by the realists and to make the public aware that a new era in theater had begun, earning him the title the father of modern drama. One of the paradoxes of the form soon became apparent. The more realistic the play, the more it needed in the way of accessories. Detailed costumes, lifelike settings, and an abundance of props became the norm in theatrical production. As with any other style, too much insistence on realism was bound to produce a reaction, and much of the history of theater in the 20th century is concerned with the movements that explored alternate ways of theatrical storytelling. One form of theater that seemed to offer a solution to the realistic dilemma was that of the Far East, and for the first significant time in the history of Western theater, Asian theatrical forms were studied and emulated by theater artists in the West. In this final four-week unit, we'll first look at the forces and artistic movements that led to the development of modern theater. Then we'll spend some time looking at traditional Asian theatrical forms. Finally, we'll look at the 20th century and the tension that developed between realism and the alternative styles of production and playwriting that developed in response to realism's constraints. We'll finish the course by looking at the dynamic intercultural encounters of our world today and see how they are shaping the future of theater.